So what lessons can we take from the book of Daniel? So when Daniel starts, Nebuchadnezzar is in charge and he takes all the smartest, best looking, tallest Hebrews in order to give them something to lose, give them all these luxuries and then tell them what to say to exert influence over the masses of other Hebrews. And we see this so much now with our celebrity culture where people are given the world and so much to lose and then they exert their ideas and the ideas of others on everybody else. It's an old, old tactic. Now, years after the dream interpretation and, and all of that, we see Daniel's friends get told that you need to bow down and worship this statue of gold, all the vices uh, of, of our world. And when they say, no, we're, we're not going to do it, we're not going to bow, Nebuchadnezzar throws them into this fiery pit uh, where they were expected to die. And we see this so much nowadays where when people voice their truth, they're threatened that they're going to be thrown into the fire. Sometimes they are. But then they come out unscathed and you realize none of it actually mattered. None of it mattered more than the truth. And the lesson there is that Nebuchadnezzar, because of their faith, decides, hey, there must be something real here. There must be something about this God that's special. So speak your truth. Don't worry about the consequences, because at the end of the day, that's all you can do.